What's up guys? In this video I want to tell you about the fingerprint door lock from Wii Lock Company. Actually, you can open the lock with not only your fingerprint, but also RFID card or a mobile app. Another feature of this door lock is one year of battery life. It is powered by 3A batteries and they provide up to 8000 lock openings and closings. The door lock is also IP65 waterproof, so you can install it outdoors. Ok, let's do unboxing and see how you use this lock. You know I have already unpacked the box for YouTube Shorts and TikTok. By the way, you can subscribe to our second channel with Shorts videos and TikTok account. There are mostly unboxing videos and they are posted earlier and then on the main channel. I will leave the links in description under the video. In the box we have a front and three handles, lock body, gusset, MBs, mounting bracket, RFID cards, and accessories such as Allen key, fixing screws, thimble and screwdriver, adapter and user manual. At first glance everything looks complicated, but in fact the installation is very simple. We will talk about it a little later. As you can see the lock consists of three parts such as front and rear handles as well as lock body. The front handle has LED display, fingerprint reader and power button. There is also a QR code to add the door lock in the mobile app. Before using a lock you need to install a battery. For that loosen a screw with an Allen key and remove a metal keys. Now you need to open a battery cover and insert 3A batteries. Unfortunately they are not included, so you will have to buy them yourself. After the batteries are installed, you have to fix the rubber battery cover and tighten the screws. That's all. You can press the power button and the screen will turn on. By the way, there is micro USB port under the battery cover. You can use a portable charger to unlock the door if the batteries in the lock are dead. As already said, the handle on the back of the lock doesn't have any buttons. It is a simple metal handle to open the lock from the inside. Now let's talk about installation. You know the smart lock is mainly designed for US market, but I am not from the United States. Unfortunately, it is not compatible with my door. Before buying Wii Lock, you need to measure the length of your door. It can be adjusted from 45 to 60 mm or 1.77 to 2.36 inches. And there are 45-50 mm adapter and 50-60 mm adapter in the package. You need to insert it into the rear handle hole. Before installing the handle, you need to install a lock body in the door. By the way, you can also change the length of the lock body from a 60 to 70 mm. When the lock body is installed and the screws are tightened, you can insert the front handle into the lock body. The next step is to install the mounting bracket and tighten the screws. Finally, you just need to insert a rear handle into the toggle lever. As you can see, installation is very simple, but unfortunately, my door is too thick for this lock. Anyway, I can show you the up functions as well as how the lock works. After you put the batteries into the lock and turn it on, you can install the up and activate the lock. By the way, I have a smart lock with only Bluetooth support. However, there is a version of the lock with Wi-Fi box. It is a little more expensive, but I think it might be useful for some of you. So the app for smartphone is called Wii Lock, and it is available on Android and iOS devices. First, you need to set up account, select your country, enter the phone number, etc. Then you can press the plus icon to add the lock. As I said before, there is a secure code on the battery cover of the lock. You need to scan it with your smartphone. After that, enter a lock ID. You can find it on the inside of the lock. That's it. The smart lock has been added. In the app you can see the unlock history. Authorization Bluetooth pin Add card Delete card Delete fingerprints Sync time Download record Factory reset and help there is also a big lock button at the bottom to quickly open the lock. When you first turn on the lock, you need to register an admin fingerprint. For that press the set button for 5 seconds. In total 3 admin fingerprints can be registered. 
Now you can put your finger on the scanner and a draw will be a message that the lock is unlocked and fingerprint ID. You can turn a handle and open the door. When the lock is closed, the knob only turns and the lock doesn't open. If someone tries to open the lock with unregistered fingerprint, there will be a message on the display – finger is not recognized. By the way, you can also see a battery level on a display of the lock, time and date, and accept an FP. FP means fingerprints. You can also add RFID cards to the lock. There are three cards available in the package. Each of them has QR code and serial number. And there is a menu called Add Card in the app. You can set a start time and end time of the card validity period. Now you need to scan a QR code on the card. On the display of the lock, you will see that the new user was added. Now when you put the card to the lock, it will be unlocked. When you try to unlock with unregistered card, the message on the display says that this is unknown card, so the smart lock works perfectly. You know, although the Wii lock is not suitable for me, because my door is too sick for it, I checked how the lock works, and it is awesome! You can use fingerprints to open the lock, as well as RFID cards. In the app you can see the unlock history, add or delete RFID cards, and set a validity period for them, and even remotely open the lock. I think it is a very useful smart lock. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!